Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick rundown of this application that I've uh, created for a water filtration customer. Uh, they did very large multi-million dollar jobs for uh, large uh, manufacturers, companies, local governments, and cities to filter out their water. They uh, not only manufactured their custom filters, they also shipped them out to the job sites and then installed them. So uh, there's a lot of different parts to this application, and I'll go ahead and walk you through it. Uh, the first screen is just a basic setup screen where we define unit types, materials, and products. Uh, this gives them the ability to customize uh, how the materials are being set up. Next, we did have an admin screen, and then there's three parts to this. We have some company defaults, and here we can uh, set different types of labor rates for the different types of uh, work that's going to be done, whether it was mechanical, document, and then this gave them flexibility to set those rates. So when it comes time to estimate those jobs, the rates are already set. We also had uh, different rate types for company burden. Uh, we had commission brackets, freight, and delivery costs and pay. So there's just kind of some default settings that are used throughout the application, especially when it comes to bidding and uh, estimating. We had uh, sync and version control. What this did is uh, we had a master version of this application, and then actually each individual user would have their own application. Uh, this uh, gave them the ability to uh, work on their own files at their own time and then sync up with the master. Uh, this worked much better than uh, Microsoft Excel's shared workbook feature, which is often slow and cumbersome. So this way, everybody had the ability. So we just set a master file location, and then we can sync uh, either web by clicking the button or we can sync uh, at an automated time. And then this just tells us we would sync whether it's parts, uh, BOMs, products, and estimates. We could sync all of those automatically. Uh, we also have some defaults set for the estimate, and we just kind of left this at uh, estimate types, equipment, proposal, aftermarket, and quotes. Uh, those are just some defaults. Uh, basically, what we have is an extremely large parts list. Uh, there's over 72,000 um, parts in here. Basically, there's a part number, and uh, uh, you can uh, filter out parts by whether it's just inter interesting uh, a description. Uh, or you can uh, look for a specific part and it filters very quick even with it's just 72,000 so it's really works really well to locate a specific part even with so many and uh, the customer had asked me to uh, they wanted to be able to filter or sort based on any parameter of the part uh, sorting was easy we simply just click on the header and it will sort uh, ascending and then you click it once more and it would sort descending so it's uh, very uh, quick even if it's a ton of items it still works pr relatively quickly uh, we also had the ability to add a new part update parts list if they have uh, some other sorts of parts list it'll, it'll uh, allow us to browse for a specific part and then put those parts properly within the table without entering them manually uh, basically selecting any part uh, we'd have to we could add it to a BO bomb uh, build of materials BOM so that was a nice feature they had uh, next we do have the uh, build of materials generator and this basically allows us to build those uh, BOMs and uh, what my customer had requested was the ability to build uh, bombs either from parts or from other uh, BOMs that have been created so we built in a search feature uh, right on the left here basically we can search parts here very quickly and then all we'd have to do is once we find it we can put any filter we want here and uh, we can just like we consult our uh, abrasives for example and then once we locate the part that we want we can simply go ahead and uh, add that to the bomb so now that we filtered out all of them and and simply uh, by double clicking on the uh, part itself we'll go ahead and add that to the bomb and then we can go ahead and save that and so we also have additional uh, parameters for that component number name uh, that we have a specific labor that goes into that so we can keep track of labor and then we have like a different price average this may be far uh, above of what you actually require but it gives you an idea of the ability of Excel we have the ability to add new update the existing one we can duplicate one which is really nice because often you have uh, two uh, BOMs that are often similar so you don't want to recreate the new one so we can simply click duplicate and it'll it'll make a copy of the existing one and uh, the same thing for bombs. If often we uh, want 
to add a BOM inside another BOM. We can also put in any search parameters here, and then the list will list down here, and then we can simply go ahead and add it. So that is the ability to generate uh, BOMs. Uh, and um, here on this sheet is the list. These are all the previously BOMs that we have created. And uh, obviously, these are just the main parts. But if we want to drill down and see what is actually in that, we can go ahead and do that by just clicking on uh, the left arrow here. And it'll go ahead and uh, open up and let us know every uh, part that's in. And if there is a bomb uh, embedded within that one, we can also drill down on that one too, simply by clicking the arrow. And that'll go ahead and drill down. So we do have uh, the ability to. Uh, drill down which is really nice so that we can see uh, specific bombs and their contents as well uh, next we have our customer requested products uh, products were basically a combination of pretty much any whether it's uh, labor uh, whether it's um, bombs or or products or specific parts so basically they had like pre-built products that they wanted um, and these differed um, from BOMs by the fact that uh, we could uh, customize each one to add any specific option that we wanted so if there's uh, multiple colors we could add it we could simply put in uh, a color here and then if that's a list item um, then we can go ahead and write that uh, down so if we want to edit those those list items we can go ahead and click here and then we can list uh, we can just list those those options here and if each one has a different cost we could list, list it here so that gives us the ability to really customize uh, that particular feature that they had asked for. So then once you go ahead and set that color there, you can then select from those items uh, that we've just added within the drop down list. So that was a really, really handy feature. Uh, now we have those two options there. And uh, especially for bidding jobs, uh, it gives us the ability to uh, really be able to flexible when we're entering products. Each product can have a a specific cost, a default quantity, and then we've broken down the labor um, into my customer fabrication, assembly, paint, uh, project management, uh, and uh, a bunch of different variables on which they could break out the labor of each product. So that was a pretty big part. And so there's all things that goes into products that they've asked me to. And you can list products by type or by uh, uh, or by any other field. And then once you select a product, uh, those specific um, products that have been listed within that uh, product type will be listed here. So simply by a single click uh, of the product uh, will display its contents on the right side. So it's very user friendly and uh, very intuitive. Uh, next, we have the estimate screen, and this was a large screen that we created for the customer, which basically allows us to create estimates. And the first is we have the item list, and so all of the uh, items for that goes in there. And then the items that we want to enter, um, since we've got 72,000 parts, perhaps 1,000 bombs, we need to quickly be able to search for those and then add them to the estimate. So again, we've added these uh, search tables here. Uh, and it's in the tab form because we do have a lot of data. So once again, we can search by for any part and simply double click or actually we can change the quantity and just click add to the estimate and that will add uh, the part to the estimate. We can search uh, BOMs here as well and add those to the estimates. We can search uh, products and add those as we had previously detailed all the products that we've created. We can add those to the estimates as well as sub outs. And these are specific uh, jobs that are, are being done by their subcontractors. And we can also detail them as line items in the estimate once they get added there. And we can add new. And so we have a lot of different uh, features. Uh, sub outs can have attachments where uh, like if, if they've given you a contract and you scan that in, uh, you can keep track of all of the attached data uh, here within the estimate, so it's really, really handy. Um, each estimate uh, is very detailed. It's got you know a list of items, uh, order execution, and basically what that is uh, is um, specific labor items or project management costs, you know, other related costs other than. Um, items if there's specific equipment that is going to be used uh, we can that gets um, detailed out here so we know all the equipment that's going in as well as um, as I said this client also did the installation of these filters so they would have field service costs as well and they wanted to uh, separate those field service costs so we were able to do that here both on site execution and um, field construction here so here we had you know field construction so they, they wanted that separated out so we go ahead and did that 
as well we have uh, freight and shipping costs uh, those are all so uh, detailed here so we can uh, spe specify uh, a specific um, any freight and shipping as well as commissions uh, if their staff is earning commissions uh, that can be detailed here other direct costs uh, we have uh, our costing and markup as well so that we know what the markup is and it's based on our current markup rates uh, which uh, they can be changed. We have a default uh, markup, but that can be changed as well. And then we also have documents, and these are basically uh, any documents that are uh, created or attached to this particular estimate, so they always get uh, linked to the specific estimate. Uh, we can add new, save, or delete an estimate, and we can go previous to the previous estimate as well as to the next X estimate. So it's very, very handy as well. And uh, we also have a list of estimates, and these are all the previously uh, created estimates. So if we want to locate or go to any estimate, we just select the estimate and then just click View the Selected Estimate. And lastly, something you may be mostly interested in is our document creation. And this is basically the ability to create and fill documents based on certain data levels. And uh, I've preset the data fields for my, that my customer requested. However, yours would probably be different. And to view a document, you would just select the document on the left side. And uh, then it will appear in the middle, whether it's an Excel-based document or whether it's a, a Word-based document. Uh, there's different. We have to set the defaults for this. So it's asking us to look out for that particular um, item. But we don't have that yet, so that's not important. But um, and so once we have the documents, they can be listed here uh, as well. And uh, we can have, uh, whether it's standard quotes or pretty much any type of document can be attached here. And you can, these are all the data. And so when the document is actually created, uh, the actual document is, is um, then filled in with the data based on that specific job or estimate. Uh, that's a basic rundown of this application. We also have the ability to duplicate the document as well as some document details. So that is pretty much it. That's a quick rundown of this application. I just thought I would create this for you and let you know what is possible with Excel. And this is all in Excel. Uh, and um, it is uh, pretty fast and relatively um, inclusive. All right. Thank you very much.